Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! This whole area is cemetery. We're finding grave sites from 1940s, 19. 70s up here, that's, where were the 70s? Oh, those guys over there. Those were 18, born in the 18, mid 18s, died in the mid 19s, so those guys are old. This is a memorial to soldiers behind us. That is the original Blakely Founders uh, Memorial. We're going to go sit at benches. That is a memorial for one of the park uh, managers. I just like the pine cone fall. Really? Well, that's kind of cool. Like so, what do we have for lunch today? Oh, I'm glad you asked. We've got Dave's Killer Bread, thin sliced, 21 seed and grain. Within those two pieces of bread, you're gonna find some peanut butter straight from the grinder. Thank you. Freshly Whole ground Foods. peanut butter. Freshly ground peanut butter from Whole Foods. And then the jelly is a black bear organic blackberry. I think the brand is black bear. Okay. It's got a black bear on it. So yeah. And then two of the sandwiches have sunflower butter instead of peanut butter. Nice. Um, so Blakely was founded, what year did that say? 1817 or something. 1817? 1812. And the idea was that the founders thought the shipping uh, from Blakely River was going to be more, it was easier, more valuable than the shipping in the small harbor of Mobile. So they built the town and the town thrived for a while, right? It was very successful, obviously successful through the Civil War. Uh, and then it disappeared. So they actually call it a ghost town because it just sort of stopped. And I will try to look up as to why it stopped. Do you remember why it stopped? We're gonna be messy. Oh, you know what? We didn't get that on the. We got that from our story that we listened to last night, the ghost town. Oh yeah. Is that for me? One of them. Okay. Yeah. Give me one. All right. So we got a new app. Haven't paid for it yet, but the free stories on the app are geographically based and um, kind of interesting. I guess it's a Kevin Costner backed. Here, here is the name of it. Hey, shout out to Kevin Costner. <laughs> we are actually talking about him because Dances with Wolves started off in the Civil War. Yeah. So it disappeared for some reason. Oh, I know, it was uh, Yellow Fever. Oh. It slowly got a reputation of being a uh, sick town and people stopped. Mm. That'll do it every time. How's your sandwich? It's really great. You can tell the peanut butter. Yeah. It's um, got a consistency that I would expect out of peanut butter. Not, not a consistency like thick mayonnaise, which is what Jif is. Mm -hmm. But a consistency of what ground up peanuts ought to be. Yeah. You remember your grandfather, my dad, used to eat peanut butter and mayonnaise. Ugh. Sandwiches. God, <laughs> man. <laughs> Give this video a like if you've ever had a peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. Yeah. I have, so I will give the video a like. That was all I ate growing up. Really? All I ate, peanut butter and mayonnaise. Well, I didn't like peanut uh, butter and jelly. If it was soft bread, I'd have to do peanut butter and mayonnaise. Couldn't do the jelly, because that was the smell I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Until I was, uh, geez, I was in college. Somebody introduced me to peanut butter and honey. Mm. And we've done a lot of that. And that stuck. That stuck. 
and the jelly stuck and the mayonnaise did not. So I haven't really had a peanut butter and mayonnaise since I started eating peanut butter and honey. Uh -huh. um, but no one I know other than people in my immediate family I've ever have had that. ever experienced peanut butter and mayonnaise. Well, I'd be down to try that with vegan mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so good. Yeah, maybe. Um, also, shout out or comment or like, although we'll get confused. Uh, comment if you've <laughs> ever eaten peanuts with the shell on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What your experience is. We were talking about that yesterday about eating peanuts with the shell on because we are down south. And I had my first boiled peanut. Boiled peanuts down in Florida. here. Florida. And we both ate them. We liked, I like to eat them with the shell on in the baseball games, you know, the baseball peanuts. Because that's where all the salt is and I don't like the mess. Gee, these two stories would indicate I'm a bit of a princess. <laughs> um, but I do eat peanuts with the shells where all the salt and the fiber is. Yeah. And um, you don't make a mess. I don't like peanut shells all over the stands in baseball games. Mm -hmm. But I do love going to baseball games. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hike 360.